now we'll start with physiology of pain so pain is defined as an unpleasant and emotional experience which is associated with or without actual tissue damage so this pain is an unpleasant sensation it may or may not be associated with actual tissue damage pain may be acute or chronic so there are two types of pain pain may be acute or it may be a chronic pain acute pain is a sharp pain of short duration with easily identified cause so acute pain is of short duration and the cause can be easily identified often it is localized in a small area before spreading to neighboring areas and it is localized in a small area usually it is treated by medications it can be treated easily by medications chronic pain is the intermittent or constant pain with different intensities so chronic pain is an intermittent pain it it will come repeatedly with different intensity sometimes it may be more sometimes it may be less like this it lasts for a longer period it is somewhat difficult to treat chronic pain and it needs professional expert care benefits of pain so when pain is there then only the person will go to the physician so there are various benefits are there for pain so first benefit is pain gives warning signal about the existence of a problem or threat it also creates awareness of injury second benefit is pain prevents further damage so further damage by causing reflex withdrawal of the body from the source of injury if there is a pain then only the person will withdraw himself from that source of injury and that is how it prevents further damage then the third benefit is pain forces the person to rest or to minimize the activities thus enabling rapid healing of injured part so because of pain a person will minimize his activities and that is how it helps in the healing of pain then the fourth benefit is pain urges the person to take required treatment to prevent major damage these are the benefits of pain then components of pain there are mainly two components of pain are there one is called as fast pain and second one is slow pain fast pain is the first sensation whenever a pain stimulus is applied it is experienced as a bright sharp and localized pain sensation fast pain is followed by the slow pain which is experienced as a dull diffused and unpleasant pain the receptors for both components of pain that is fast pain and slow pain are the same that is the nerve free nerve endings then pathways of pain sensation the pain sensation has got various pathways the pain sensations are carried out from various parts of the body to brain by different pathways like first one is pathway from skin and deeper structures pathway from face pathway from viscera pathway from pelvic region so first we will see how the sensation of pain is carried from skin and deeper structures to the brain so here it has got a receptor it has got first order neuron second order neuron third order neuron and then it will reach to the center so the receptors these receptors of pain sensation are the free nerve endings which are distributed throughout the body then the first order neuron the first order neurons are the cells in posterior nerve root ganglia which receive the impulses of pain sensation from pain receptors so the first order neurons are posterior nerve root ganglia then the second order neuron the second order neurons these are the neurons of marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa of rolando they form the second order neuron which are situated in the posterior gray horn of spinal cord then the third order neuron the third order neurons of pain pathway or pain sensation they are the neurons which are situated in thalamic nucleus reticular formation and tectum and fourth one is gray matter around the aqueductus of sylvius so these are the new, uh, uh, neurons which forms the third order neuron then the center for pain sensation the center for pain sensation is situated in the post central gyrus of parietal cortex so the center of pain sensation is situated in the parietal cortex so this is the pathway of pain sensation which carries the sensation of pain from skin and deeper structures 
the, then the sensation of pain which carried from the face pain sensation from face is carried by trigeminal nerve and from viscera the pain sensation from thoracic and abdominal viscera is transmitted by sympathetic nerves that is thoracolumbar nerves so and pain from esophagus trachea and pharynx is carried by the vagus nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve so the pain sensation from thoracic and abdominal viscera is carried carried by sympathetic nerve that is thoracolumbar nerves and pain sensation from esophagus trachea and pharynx is carried by vagus and glossopharyngeal nerve then the pain sensation from pelvic region the pain sensation from deeper structures of pelvic region is ca is carried by sacral parasympathetic nerves so this is about the physiology of 